All right, D. Well, he's human. He's a man, not a machine. Dave Dyer lost four games last week and opened it. the door for me. I refuse to believe it. In our high school picks, non-human. We are now tied. He's not a machine. He's a man. He's like not like he's just like Drago. He's, <laughs> he's going and he's going down. I am Rocky. He's Drago. We're going after him. At very right. least, he's Rambo. <laughs> week four in the high school season uh, coming up. A great week of football. Some teams getting into conference play. Big games all over the round. So let's let's not hesitate. Let's get right into the slate. Uh, I'm going to run them off as we get them listed on our schedule. So here we go. You tell me what you think. Alvarez at Timberlane. Timberlane got a big win over West last week. Uh, Alvarez one and two. After this trip up with BG, I think it seems like Timberlane's back on track. Yeah, the, the Oars are back in the water. They win it at home against Alvarez. Lawrence goes up that road to Lowell, play Cauley Stadium, 7 o'clock on a Friday night. You're saying it could be first to 50 to win. I think it's going to be a lot of offense. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe it's just from being to practice the other day. I like the Lancers. Battle of two really skilled quarterbacks, RJ Noel against uh, Nate Baez. Um, Who I featured in today's paper. I'll take Nate Baez and the Lancers in this one for some reason. Pentucket to Danvers. Tough game for the Sachems last week. I'm going to roll with them one more time. I'm saying Nolan Dragon just carries them on his back. All right, they, they beat me up. I'm going to stick with them one more week. This is it, though. <laughs> I'm sticking with them one more week. Uh, I'll stay with Pentucket as well. North Reading and Amesbury at Landry Stadium. <sighs> North Reading, tough t- week two after week one. Um, they, they showed a little bit. I think I'm going to go with North Reading. All right, I'll take the home team. Amesbury's tough at home up at Landry. <laughs> Uh, going over the valley now. Drake it at Central Catholic, seven o'clock. Big game right down the street. Tough one. Drake it is off to a good start. Looks like they may have found another quarterback. I gotta go with I gotta go with the middies in this one. All right, um, I, I'm gonna go with Central in this one. I have no idea why. Drake it's two and zero. They've shown better. Um, they, every, they always give Central fits. I'm still gonna take the Ra- uh, the Raiders in that one. But Rick is going up the road with Nicholas Potter at Methuen on Ranger Road. <sighs> Again, you know, Methuen's 2-0. and Drake is, or rather, uh, Bill Rick has had a little bit of a slip-up. I'm, I'm going Methuen. I'm saying if Savistano's healthy, I think they can control it on the ground, and I think that uh, just the spotter doesn't have enough room. Lospato only seven points against Woburn in a, in a loss, so that was a tough one. Um, Havel's at Medford? Gotta go Medford. Hilly's still banged up a little bit. you got to stick with Medford. The Hilly's lost to Triton. They had a lot of guys Chance start. Brady. He's a playmaker, though. North Andover's at Westford Academy. I saw everything I needed to see with North Andover last week. I'm on the bandwagon now. I'm going. I'm going North Andover. I'm saying another huge game for Walsh. One more week, I'll cast a shadow of doubt and take the uh, dual county league team with Westford. Um, Portsmouth at Pelham. I think we'll both say Portsmouth. Yeah. Sanborns at Stevens. Sanborn playing better. Yeah, I'm still gonna. Go. I like Stevens at home. That's yeah. a tough trip to Claremont. Yes. Um, Concord's at Londonderry. Concord's supposed to be one of the playoff teams now. Yeah. I'm going to stick with them. Uh, uh, me too. It's London Area's last guess if they want to make the playoffs. Absolutely. And they don't forget they have Pinkerton next week yeah. in the MAC plaque, so they got to get one under their belt now. And the Reggies go to Chelsea. 2-0 Reggies. Reggies are playing well. They're still on the you know, maybe emotional high. I'm going Reggies. Yeah, Christian Rivera still mowing them down yep. in the backfield. Absolutely. We'll switch to Saturday. we got Georgetown with the morning game at Woody. I love the morning games. Why does my son have a soccer awesome. game? I would love to be love there. It. Can't love go. Love uh, Georgetown at Woody. Tell me about that one. Georgetown's not off to a bad start, but I say Whittier. I say Whittier grounds them. You know, I say Whittier really, really wants it. They're at home. Like you yeah. said, it's tough th- to adjust to the early game for them. I'm going Wildcats. Strength in numbers, just more kids. Uh, Georgetown's coming, though. Definitely. I'm going to tell you that right oh, now. Uh, Bows at Wyndham. Um, Wyndham has actually looked good for a few weeks, mm-hmm. uh, so I'm going to go Wyndham. I'll take the Jags as well. I like that. Uh, Loomis, Chaffee at Phillips. I know nothing about either team. <laughs> I think Phillips has brought in a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, no. I, I'm taking PA. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I don't know anything about Loomis Chaffee, but uh, yeah, it seems like Phillips has brought in a lot of real good PGs. They got the quarterback from Belmont Hill. I'm going with them too. Roxbury Latins at Brooks in a night game Saturday night? Yeah. Uh, um, Roxbury uh, Latins mighty tough. Yeah, I don't really know that much about Brooks, but yeah, it's going to be Roxbury. Okay, so I'll take Roxbury Latin there. Now the two big games of the day. Andover is at Tuxbury. Um in the Merrimack Valley Conference opener. Tuxbury struggled last week against Lawrence. Golden Warriors are, are really feeling it right now. Definitely end over pretty pretty handily in this one. And then uh, the war of 3-0 versus 3-0 in New Hampshire. Pinkerton is at Salem. Homecoming for Salem and Jerickson Federick with his 11 TDs. You know, great matchup, but right now Pinkerton, I, I will I won't pick against Pinkerton. They're on fire. They're just they're just pummeling everybody. You have to go Astros in this. You know, defensively, I just don't think Salem can stop them. Yeah. Um, I think I think Salem will put up numbers. I think Salem will score. I don't know if they can stop them. They, 
you have to like pick it in that game. And the beauty of it is, there's going to be like five passes thrown the whole game. It's going to be all on the ground. It's going to be beautiful. Where Lawrence Lowell is going to be a four-hour game. This one might be a 40-minute <laughs> game. Wing T against <laughs> wing T, straight T. It's going to be awesome. It's a hybrid wing T, though. It, uh, where, where Salem's morphed into the wing T. Pinkett is going with the hybrid wing T, Coach O'Reilly called it. So True. that's a great slate of games. Uh, you might want to get to one Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon or Friday night. Some great games out there. We'll see you there.